Hey, YouTube. Good to see you again. Hold on. Welcome aboard the boat. It's currently on land because it's a new boat for us and it's full of sticks and twigs. Oh, pardon me. We are on this boat for a particular reason. And you're saying, hey, Adam, why am I seeing this on Monday? Well, there's a very good reason. This is a box from smokingpipes.com. And in it, there are six tins and some pipes. In fact, six pipes. This is an interesting week. This Saturday is a bonus Saturday. You know, there's I usually do four Saturdays a month. This one happens to have five. So I thought I would do something interesting. And something interesting, an opportunity just happened to show up. So we're in a boat. It's sort of a nautical themed event. Give me just a second. I'll take you over to the table and I'll explain the whole thing. This should be pretty exciting. Stay tuned. Okay. I wasn't kidding. I really was in that boat. There's a Rust Belt Pipes HQ, by the way, getting an impromptu tour. Okay, let's get to the uh, picnic bench here. All right, so, oh, crooked. I'm really excited about this, and so I'm feeling a little manic. Okay, we did the thing in the boat. I did the, ooh, it's nautical, ooh, thing. Here we are at the table. There's a box. This is Monday. You're seeing this on Monday, and uh, you're going to see a video every day this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You're going to see six videos in total, all in a row, one a day for the next six days. We got a box here that smells incredible. So, there was a, a series of blends that came out recently that I thought was pretty interesting. And I said on Instagram, I'm gonna buy all these and I'm gonna review them all and then I'm gonna do a comparison. And that's what I did. So, what you see here are six new blends new to the US from Kolhaza and Kopp. And they smell, the box is very fragrant as well. These are called Caribbean Blue. And they each are named after a famous pirate, sailor, explorer, that sort of thing. Um, and I bought all six. So we have Drake, Rackham, Bellamy, Win, Graham, and Seeger. Six tins. Six tins. Six blends. And these are sort of fruity in flavor, and I don't know if I'm going to like them or not, so I was worried that they were going to ghost my pipes. So I also bought six fresh cobs. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm going to do is every day this week, every day for the next six days, we're going to crack a tin. We're going to do a blend review for that blend. I'm going to smoke it once and then at the end, so maybe on day seven, I'm going to give you a deep dive, a comparison, and for the internet, a tier list and tell you out of these six, What's my number one? What's my number two? What's my number three? Should be pretty fun. I've never done anything like this before, but uh, why not? It's summer. My wife happens to be gone this week. I'm not saying that played into it at all, but um, yeah, I totally have free reign over here. So I'm getting in trouble. Um, so today we're going to pick a random one. I'm not even going to love. Rackham. Today I'm going to crack this tin of Rackham and I'm going to use this pipe. We're gonna see what it's like. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm excited. Here we are. I'm opening a pipe. These happened to be on sale. 
coincidentally. Nothing special here. These are just little tiny Missouri Meerschaum pipes. Good for tasting. Hilariously small. That's what we're going to go with for this. Now, uh, Rackham. Rackham has sort of a grayish color. And here's what it says. Kolhaza and Kopp, the art of blending. This is called Caribbean Blue Rackham. And here's what it says on the back. There's not a description. There's just a list of flavors. Mango, passion fruit, strawberry, mirabelle, cherry slash aromatic slash mixture. That's what it says. It's a lot of flavors all in one thing. This is definitely uh, an aromatic. It's produced in Germany. And uh, let's just get it open. I'm excited. That was a good hiss. That's what we see. And that smells like a fruitcake. Wow. That has like a bunch of different smells in it. Well, it has a bunch of different smells, a bunch of different flavors in it. So they have a special. <laughs> Ahoy. They have a special little piece of paper in here. Sticky as all get out, as we're gonna expect from all of these because they are aromatics. Goopy, flavorful, a lot of black Cavendish, probably a little bitey. That's what we're expecting. That's what I'm expecting. Other than that, it's, uh, it is your typical, all over the table, uh, it is your typical aromatic looking mixture. Plenty of black Cavendish in there. Let's get it loaded up. This smells really good. It smells a little bit like Moon Trance from CAO, which is one that I like. You know how we do. I don't allow any time for drying, none of that stuff. I just, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of fluffy stuff here. Take the stems out. <laughs> and in we go into our little cob. A nice little tasting cob. Not gonna pack it in too tight, just enough to be able to get some flavors. You know, I'm looking for like a 10 minute smoke here. All right, we're in. We got air. Let's get this loaded up. Packed up. And let's light it. I got a new favorite match, by the way. Soul Stick On. Which are nice Swedish matches. Come in a nice big box. And they are excellent. They light so easy. I know having a favorite match is a little silly, but anyway, here we go. chemical. Just getting that initial topping burning off. Let's review what it says. Mango, passion fruit, strawberry. I'm getting a little strawberry. Mirabelle, which I'll have to research what that is. Cherry Danish aromatic mixture. I do get a weird sort of strawberry hard candy, maybe like your grandma used to have in her little church bag, the little hard ones that the, the wrapper looked like a strawberry. A little bit of cherry, definitely no mango. Lights very easy. It's not a bad flavor. Mango, I think not. 
passion fruit. Not really. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Strawberry hard candy. Definitely cherry. Sort of that, um, that sort of chemically artificial topping flavor. What is that, glycol? Whatever that is. The stuff that they spray on there. It's not bad, and it's not biting in this tiny little pipe that's not filtered. Hmm. Interesting. It's nice. It doesn't taste bad. It's definitely getting better. That initial light was very chemical forward. Retrohale. Retrohale is a little bit tropical, but I couldn't tell you if that's the mango or the passion fruit or the Mirabelle. Hmm. Smells great around me. Hmm. Well, there are some initial thoughts on Caribbean Blue Rackham. I'm going to keep smoking this until it's done. And then I'll see you again tomorrow for the next one. It's going to be a fun journey, you guys. Thanks for dropping by. See ya.